my name's Julie Green and I'm head of year three and four, which we call Froom Court. Uh, we're one phase within the whole prep school and the children are aged seven to nine years old. Um, we're positioned at the end of the school premises here, but we have a huge field that the children can play on. But we also have our own playground that's just solely for years three and four. Let's go through and see some of the classes. So this play area is um, just for year threes and fours. We have a snack, morning snack and an afternoon snack and they're free to play anywhere in this safe environment. The classes are arranged, we have three classes in year three, three classes in year four. Um, in year three, they're mostly taught by their class teacher for most lessons. They may go to a different teacher for maths, subjects such as Spanish and art, um, games, computing, DT. In year four, that's a little bit more varied and they might go to a different teacher for all of their subjects, but just within a small group of teachers. We start at, um, from 8.15 and the day runs until 3.35. Um, slightly later on a Tuesday and Thursday. So year three are expected to stay until 5.35 and on, on a Tuesday and year four on a Tuesday and a Thursday. On those other evenings we offer activities and clubs for the children to sign up to. Clubs such as tennis, cooking, sewing, maths games, homework club etc. So we can keep the children here till 5.40 on those nights too. We have a hall here where we have our assemblies and music lessons take place in there. We also have our own dedicated art space and a library area. So the children can come in here and change their own books. It's all part of our reading system. Involve very much the parents in the reading and every time a child takes a quiz you're informed by email of how that quiz went and the score for your child on that book. So all the children when they join are assigned to a league. We have five leagues that run from reception to year eight. Uh, lots of the activities they will take part um, with their league for things such as cross country, league singing competitions, sports day, etc. Um, it's a nice way to integrate the children into the wider school. So they'll meet once every two weeks with their league, um, brothers and sisters, siblings, etc. We also go to chapel every week and whole school assembly. So the children get lots of chances to integrate with older and younger children. Oh, do you know who's it is, Amali? Give it to Mrs. James, I'm sure she'll find out who it is. So this is one of our learning um, classrooms, one of our classrooms. This is a year four classroom. RS and maths are taught in this classroom. We're creating a bit more independence in year four, so we're moving away from um, the group tables a little bit and it's more independent working. very much in this phase focus on helping the children become more independent so we help them to find ways to find answers to things themselves before having to ask a teacher so things like wall displays, um, help me cards etc will help them to find information without always having to ask an adult. So children join, it's a natural joining point in year three we have lots of external children, not just children coming up from our Stuart House Year 2s. We also have many in-year in missions into Year 3 and 4. Um, they're very soon integrated, they get given a buddy. We have excellent parent reps who help you along the way as well as parents. Um, there's taster days when the children can come and try out, see if they like it. Um, and they're very much integrated immediately into school life. There's transition meetings between each phase. So as you move into the next phase, the, the current teachers will guide you through that. Um, and there's a very close liaison with, with Mr. Bailey, who is head of Cloisters, and Mrs. Atkins, who is head of Stuart House.